Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitsit coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today. I wanted to talk about how you can get those bright mainstream vocals. And a part of my mixing mindset as well as I want to share with you guys today. Um something that I always use to make decisions, you know, how can I get always the pros, the benefits without getting any of the cons? I'm gonna talk about my mixing mindset a little bit today and how you guys can apply that. So the very first thing we're not gonna do, we're not gonna waste no time. Let's go ahead and listen to some music. Let go. I remember robbing niggas, I'm walking around skied up And my brother really body, you know that he's eat up Every time we hit the block, you better keep your chain tucked When my mama was done bad, them niggas ain't give a fuck So when I'm grinding, just know I'm doing it for the fam My old boy was never dead, so I had to be kind of man Tell my mama that I'm the chill, we just gotta stick to the plan Yeah, <laughs> Ever since I jumped out the womb, been trying to make it Mama, I done made it to college, yeah, I done graduated All I had to do is sit back and let these niggas think Yeah, I had to really come up and stay up out the way Cause ain't no love in these streets All these niggas act like they your brother, but they creep I put my two feet in cause I'm ten toes down I'm saying that I love you cause I'm hoping you gon' hold me down Mama, I'm hurting so that's the music that we got going on here today. So originally, when I was recording this song, you know, um, we had used like a different microphone that I wasn't fully aware of, you know, previously using before. So it was kind of like a cold type of sounding microphone. And I was trying to figure out how can I really get the emotion of the music to come off. So I wanted to get a little bit of brightness, a little bit of clarity to help this, um, you know, vocal kind of be like a, a shining star in the track. You know, usually when I'm mixing as an engineer, I'm always trying to think of a, like a landscape. Is If it's, it's the song like a desert, or rainforest or whatever i'm trying to put a mental picture in my head and mix using that mental picture so when i usually um you know thought about this one specifically the beat it just made me think of a night sky and i was trying to make his vocal sound kind of like a, a, a star in the night sky when he's talking about you know he felt like he's gonna give up his people went there for him all that stuff uh, you know it's it making me feel like how can i project and translate that message across the music so i was looking for ways to to make the vocal sound a little bit brighter but not harsh so usually i never use boosting eq you know, I always tell people that when you use boosting EQ, not only are you, you know, you're, you're, you're getting a little bit of clarity, but you're also boosting the neighborhood uh, frequencies around uh, the vocal. So I see the, the whole frequency spectrum like a neighbor can't just knock down one house. That's going to affect all of the other houses. You know, you can't just rip out the water system for a neighborhood and think you only going to mess with one house. You're going to mess with all the houses. So that's how I feel about the frequency spectrum. So then that brought me to something like the Dolby. Um, not the Dolby, but the Aphex Vintage Oral Exciter. There's another plugin made by Overloud, which I want to give a shout out to, Overloud Dopamine. That's an uh, emulation of the DBX uh, 180 noise reduction system, and this is the Aphex um, Vintage Oral Exciter. And what they used to use this for back in the day is, you know, they was dealing with problems of tape hiss in the, in, you know, in the uh, the, uh, the uh, productions. Imagine, you know, back in the day, this is something y'all boys take for granted too, is that when you're doing punch-ins and stuff like that, it always sounds clean, versus where back in the day, they had to rewind that tape they had to rewind that bit all the way back then they had to punch in again and you like imagine if they doing vocal stacks now you adding all this tape hiss is compounding and it's piling up it's piling up now you got a noisy track that you know kind of just feels like it's all cluttered and it, the message ain't really cutting through you know it's kind of distracting so they use something like the vintage oral exciter or even adobe 180 to um you know reduce the noise so what they did is they brightened up the tape then it's kind of like they upsampled it or what do they call upcoding and decoded so you know usually in this process too there was like a compression um type of thing like there was like a, a part where the the tape was kind of be, being compressed and then upwards expanded so the most important thing that you got to know i'm just giving a little brief background so you know the history um the most important thing that this one is a tube one and then tubes actually have a kind of like a characteristic of brightening i usually think about something like the cl1b as well so let's look at how i was able to use this one so i, I always usually usually use like one of these two presets either mix one or mix two this one has a filter to it i believe like a bandpass filter that's why it says BP and this one has a uh, AX filter I think that has like a, a, a low a low cut filter so sometimes you know I only use the one and two because you know those don't introduce phase if you kind of using it on parallel and it has a filter it could be like parallel EQ so I only use one or two and I blended it in and let's listen to how I got all the benefits of a clear vocal without getting any of the negatives of more sibilance more harshness because it doesn't work like that you know like when you boost in EQ 
and you're boosting one part, you're not just specifically boosting that part. You're you're also getting everything else that's around. You know, you can't just take the brother without getting the other brothers and the sisters and the whole family. You know what I mean? It's all really connected, is what I'm trying to tell you. So let's listen to it real quick. I remember robbing niggas, I'm walking around skied up And my brother in the body, you know that he's eat up Every time we hit the block, you better keep your chain tucked When my mama was down bad, them niggas ain't give a fuck So when I'm grinding, just know I'm doing it for the fam My old boy was never dead, so I had to be kind of man Tell my mama them to chill, we just gotta stick to the plan Yeah, <laughs> Ever since I jumped out the womb, been trying to make it Mama, I done made it to college, yeah, I done graduated All I had to do was sit back and let these niggas think Yeah, I had to really come up and stay up out the way Cause ain't no love in these streets All these niggas act like they your brother, but they creep I Okay, so this is how I always mix And this is just a suggestion that you guys should always think about You know, you gotta think about the pros and the cons It's kinda like a seesaw Which one is outweighing the other? So here's the pros What I'm getting is a bright vocal, yeah? But let's say um, if I would use boosting EQ I would also get the negatives of more siblings i would also be changing the frequency balance of my vocal the you know the bad parts might start outweighing the good parts but when i use something like the vintage apex oral exciter you know i was able to just get all the good parts without getting any of the bad parts because i got the brightness but i'm not really i'm just blending it in you know it's just a parallel type of situation i like the uh over loud dopamine as well because it also gives you the ability to bring in that compression characteristic of the noise reduction system like exactly like what i was talking about before but this plugin doesn't really let you do that it just gives you the sound of it so this is a tube um type of uh processor and it's very interesting because that brings me to something like the cl1b sometimes to get a bright vocal to get all of the benefits without any of the negatives i might just bring in a bright parallel compressor and blend that in so just pay attention real quick how the cl1b i'm using it to actually give me some more brightness i'm using the compressor to give me more brightness so that's what you guys got to think about it as well look at how i'm about to get all the benefits without any of the negatives pay attention I remember robbing niggas, I'm walking around skied up And my brother really body, you know that he's eat up Every time we hit the block, you better keep your chain tucked When my mama was down bad, them niggas ain't give a fuck So when I'm grinding, just know I'm doing it for the fam My old boy was never dead, so I had to be kind of man Tell my mama that I'm the chill, we just gotta stick to the plan Yeah, haha <laughs> Ever since I jumped out the womb, been trying to make it Mama, I done made it to college, yeah, I done graduated All I had to do was sit back and let these niggas think Yeah, I had to really come up and stay up out the way Cause ain't no love in these streets All these niggas act like they your brother, but they creep I put my two feet in cause I'm ten toes down I'm saying that I love you cause I'm hoping you gon' hold me down Mama, I'm hurt and I've been feeling cursed Every time when something going good, we hit reverse My sister hold it down, she been trying to make it work They trying to keep me tame, but I've been proving that I changed so yeah, that's kind of where you have it right there. We're getting all the benefits of that brightness from that tube. So the seal one B, sometimes I might even use it. I might not even be doing no compression at all. I might just literally turn off and run through it and it will give me the brightness that I want, you know? So then another great thing that I love to use um, the Aphex Vintage Oil Insider for really quickly before I, I jump ahead of myself is I actually use the DSer with the um, Vintage Air, Air Oil Exciter. Sometimes I might put it before or after it, but pretty much it's kind of like a stop gap. You know, I don't want it to be too bright to the point where it's you know all splatty and going everywhere so i use the deesser you know sometimes before to not have the ssb too harsh maybe i want it to just kind of smooth out the s's before it gets some of that brightening okay cool the next thing that i love to use the apex vintage oil exciter for is on my reverb to get that tory lane sounding reverb so i think that using the vintage oil exciter is very a game is very gem to get that tory lane's mainstream reverb you know what i'm talking about People who don't know how to listen to music, they can now better identify the reverb because it has a little bit of hair on it. It has a little bit of frill, a little bit of it. So let's look. I just used a basic, um, uh, uh, you know, hot mainstream reverb that so many people want, especially R&B singer, melodic trap type of people. So let's listen to that real quick. It's so easy to do. And it just really helps the reverb stand out. You're going to kind of hear how the reverb gets a little bit lost. And that's kind of to like due to the, the human ear, you know, the timbre, the way the timbre of the reverb is changing because of the exciter the frill it's making it a little bit more tangible it's making it easier for your ear to hear it let's go i remember robbing niggas i'm walking around skied up and my brother in the body you know that he's eat up every time we hit the block you better keep your chain tucked when my mama was down bad them niggas ain't give a fuck so when i'm grinding just know i'm doing it for the fam my old boy was never dead so i had to be kind of man tell my mama that i'm the chill we just gotta stick to the plan yeah <laughs> 
Ever since I jumped out the womb, been trying to make it Mama, I done made it to college, yeah, I done graduated All I had to do was sit back and let these niggas think Yeah, I had to really come up and stay up out the way Cause ain't no love in these streets All these niggas act like they your brother, but they creep I put my two feet in cause I'm ten toes down I'm saying that I love you cause I'm hoping you gon' hold me down Mama, I'm hurt and I've been feeling cursed Every time when something going good, we hit reverse My sister hold it down, she been trying to make it work They trying to keep me tame, but I'm and y'all hear it right there, 12 on the input. So it's the same amount of input going into it as output, but I'm hitting it very hard, damn near distorting the thing. But you you can hear the reverb way better because now there's a different type of timbre to it. Specifically, I wouldn't I wouldn't use this method with a plate reverb because a plate, you know, if you ever banged on a sheet of plate, it has like a certain zing, a zing to it that I kind of don't like. Or like any type of smooth reverb, but you put a little bit of distortion or maybe a vintage oral exciter on it, it's game. It's going to make the, 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 the reverb sound so perfect perfect and when you get the reverb timing correct as well you just really hear that that kind of zing that hair that that thing that helps the uh reverb just really start to stand out by itself in the mix so now the listener they hear the vocal they hear what he's saying but they also hear the reverb as well a little bit better now it's like it's just helping you get into the the song you know these little effects that you're doing is kind of like a portal it helps the listener jump into the dimension of the music now they say okay this is the size of the reverb now this reverb doesn't sound like the same reverb of the beat because the beat got some reverb in it too don't get me wrong but if you sometimes if you have like a big reverb for the vocal and a big reverb on the beat already then it could just become a big muck. It will cancel e each other out and you know nothing will really come through. So that's pretty much the end of the video that I have here for today. Just showing you guys how to, a, a little bit of game, how to get those bright vocals, my mixing mindset as well, how I always, I'm always hunting, hunting. How can I get the good part without any of the back part? How can I get all of the, the, the fish without any of the bones in it, the raw enjoyment? So I'm always hunting that, hunting that, hunting that when I'm mixing. And if you do that too, you know, put that into your mind a little bit like, yeah, you know, it's doing the job, but maybe I could find something else that is going to give me that same function without giving me any of the, the hurting characteristics because you know making music is all about trade-offs you know it's all about balance you know if you if you do one thing another thing is going to happen you know it's always these constant reactions going on left and right you know boom and bust so I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family I do appreciate y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe appreciate y'all now peace